Welcome to Tea and Our Lifestyles. I'm Tanya. And I'm Rhonda. Welcome. And, and we're here at a nice, nice restaurant. We're going to have some conversation today, right, Rhonda? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Rhonda. So we're going to talk about some of the current events. What's some of the current events, Rhonda? Um, well, you know we have the situation with Shakari Richardson. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the um, track star, young track star, you know, really, she was really excited about um, going to the Olympics and um, being a part of that, you know, being one of the, the fastest women alive. Right. And she, she worked hard to get there and then they completed the drug test. And she, I guess it was the day that her mom had died, her biological mother had died that they had to run the test. And from what I'm hearing, she was given a edible. And, um, you know, I don't know if it was someone who had actually, she knew or how she obtained this edible, but evidently the edible had some, you know, marijuana in it. And because of that, she was tested positive. So now, although it's been petition signed by hundreds of thousands, she's still not able to go to the Olympics. So, um... It's just a difficult situation for her, for the rest of us who are looking forward to her, you know, doing that. Because I really kind of started, you know, liking her a lot. And I was excited for her, you know, and looking forward to her making the best. Well, I was excited too. And I was hoping that she would do well, you know, in the competition. She's very good. She's very good. And we all know that when we have a family member that passes away, we do anything to try and ease that pain. Um, but do you think that she should have taken some responsibility on that herself? I'm not sure of all the circumstances, but if she was aware that, you know, what she was taking and she know the um, rules and guidelines mm -hmm. that they have in place as far as what, what you know, when it relates to using drugs and that may have been on the list, it was really no way to fight it if it was already spelled out, mm -hmm. um, especially if she was aware of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but your heart still just goes out to her, you know, it just goes out because you wanted the best for her, like we were just really rooting for her. But the good thing is that she's a young lady, and I think she'll be like 24, something like that, for the next Olympics. So, she'll still have an opportunity, that's a good thing. So just, you know, stay, keep your head, everything clean, keep your head above water, do what you need to do, and, um, and also be responsible for your, your eyes. Right, be responsible. And being responsible for your eyes and ears, knowing who your friends are too. So, there's a lot of people that can be around you and call themselves your friends, but you never know what's hidden inside, what type of emotions right. hidden inside. I'm glad you stated that. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, some people just put it out for it. I don't like you because you're more successful than me. I just don't like it. And some people, they'll be your friend, but they don't like your success. That's not just a 20 year old. That's a 30, 40, 50, and beyond. Okay? Continue, so, right? It, it does continue. It does continue. So you right. want to be mindful of the people that you entertain. Am I right, Ron? Yes, when very you, mindful, yeah. Mm -hmm, of the people that you entertain. So although she, you know, is unable to compete, we're still gonna um, hope for the best for her and that she makes yeah. better decisions in the future. Right. You know. And and, huh? No, and I was gonna say, we're looking forward to seeing her in the future mm -hmm. in a positive light. Mm -hmm. she, she, she's very talented. She's very, very talented. Mm -hmm. she's very talented. Guys, so we're finishing up with um, discussing Shikari Richardson. And um, 
I hope she does better. <laughs> yeah, we hope she does, you know, like make said, it for the next time, you know. And that's for all ages, you know. Be responsible for your friends, you have, for the friends you have around you. Be responsible for your actions. And take care of yourself. Yeah, take care of you. Take care of and be aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Right? You really have to be aware of where you're surrounded because, you know, um, the least little thing as far as like I don't want to say the word hating or anything like that but you know sometimes you have people who are just really 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 not for you like Tanya hating, hating. <laughs> like Tanya said earlier hating so you know the sad that you have to look out for those type of things like let me see it, you know this or let me listen out for that but we just have to do that now with today's society, unfortunately. So. I think we, we have to do that all of our lives. All of our lives? Because I just You're think right. that's just how some people are. People want yeah. you know what I mean? <clears throat> but since we know that, um, we're in the first one. And in our previous video, we talked about uh, wearing a mask. Okay? Right. So we know that that is supposed to be what now? Second, second strand, stronger yeah. strand yeah. now. What is it called, Rhonda? The Delta variant. Okay, do you know about it? I don't know too much about it. Yeah, I don't know much of it. Mm -hmm. But I just know that I'm going to be wearing my mask. You know, I will be wearing my mask. Um, because I don't want, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want any of it. So. so um, what do, you, what do you think about it? I, I have some issues with things like that. With what? You know how I, I don't believe you stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well. So I do have some questions about it. Um, but either way it goes, I want to protect myself and wear my mask. Yeah. You know, and I want people that's going to be around me to wear, wear their mask. And I want people that's going to you know, fix my food to wear their mask. Right. And our server today, she's so sweet, y'all. Oh my God. But she has her mask. She's wearing her mask and, um, you know, just good service, great conversation. You all should come and just enjoy. Oh, here she we is. want to introduce you to our wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Um, this is her, you all. We're just raving about you. How wonderful you are. It's time to be You want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Victoria Frazier. <laughs> and Victoria, um, want to tell us what you do? I waitress here over mm -hmm. at La Bible K. Mm -hmm. I also am a chef. Oh! So yeah! She didn't tell us that, y'all. <laughs> Just trying to not like you all. Well, yes, I'm a waitress here at La Bible K. An awesome French restaurant. We have amazing food. You gotta come by and stop by and see this. Okay, okay. And also, you guys, she knows a lot about uh, food. Cause we were just talking about Dr. Savvy, she is awesome. So we're gonna let you go get back to work. So. <laughs> yeah, she's very, very, she when is. I tell you all, she's a wealth of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder how she just letting them little French words and all this just roll off her tongue. Roll off now we know. She's a chef, too. <laughs> now we, we know. Know, We didn't know that, but now we know so. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah, back to what we're saying about the, um, the, um, the second show. You know, like we say, uh, in the previous previous video, I was, you know, upset that someone was uh, preparing my food and they didn't have what I made. Now, I just think that if you're around food, that you're supposed to wear a mask. I, I see a lot of people not wearing a mask, and you don't know if they've been vaccinated or not. So. Um, even if you've been vaccinated, you still don't know if the person in front of you has been vaccinated. We, we, we don't know if people are going to be honest. So, what do you guys think, young okay. friends? Comment below. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next time, be in our lifestyle. Be in our lifestyle. <laughs>